Hey, it's Steven here with a car that many people may not be able to identify offhand. Uh, this is a short course truck. This is uh, the first short course truck that Chelsea and I have ever owned. And it's the cheapest RC car we've ever bought, uh, apart from the ECX Ruckus uh, 18th scale. So this is an ECX Torment, uh, the 169 brushed version. But Chelsea wanted to get into racing, so we converted some things over inside of it. This is obviously not the same body, um, but this is what's inside of it now. I took the Taser 3300 KV motor out of out of the uh, my road car and the ESC, and I put it in this. Uh, I didn't even didn't even turn on the original brushed motor, and I bought some Duratrac shotgun tires to replace the uh, shootout uh, very hard plastic tires. Replace the plastic tie down with a strap, a Velcro strap from a Lenovo power adapter. Like I said, got the all metal gears, uh, lipo. Uh, this car is amazing. I redid the shock fluids, 30 flu 30 weight in the front, 35 in the back. Um, I took it out, which you'll see in a few minutes. In in the backyard, drive around the parking lot a little bit, and up and down the road to possibly do a speed test. Um, some of the drawbacks I can say about this car is uh, what a lot of people are saying. This steering servo, uh, this steering servo is actually the same steering servo that comes with a lot of the Vatera cars. You know, we have a lot of Vatera. Uh, the same one that actually came in uh, the road car, and I think my Glamis Uno. But the servo saver is terrible, as a lot of people are saying. You could, there's a lot of play in that. You can see that move. Well, you can see it move a whole heck of a lot. Um, and you know, for, for, for first off, for someone that's never driven on the track before, I think this should be fine for Chelsea. Even though there's that much play in the servo saver, uh, the um, car seems to turn very well. We were driving on the kind of concrete that has a texture to it and makes it spiky. Um, this is the body that we did for it, the Proline Chevy Silverado body. Um, that's white pearl, and I was going to put white behind it. But I, I had some test pieces that I cut off, and I put black behind it, and it turned into this gold. And also, I taped off the purple and the red, and did the once I pulled it, I did the uh, the white pearl, and then another color behind it. Um, I had some difficulties because this bumper is not the same as other short course trucks. On the ECX Torment, the bumper actually comes, uh, the stock body comes around. So, and I also screwed up some of the holes, so I have to be put this on a certain way but that's how the back end looks I have slots for the bumper to come out and you don't actually get the bumper on the outside of the car which is not too big of a deal for me but I like it looks good so here's some shots of it uh, running around outside so we're gonna test it out here on this concrete this concrete's a little bit spiky it's probably about the same amount of grip as clay so I moved the power switch to right here on the side um, so it's easy to get to no AVC so I don't have to worry about the car being flat when turning it on. It really well compared to some of my other vehicles. Ground's a little wet, so... That's probably about 25% throttle. This car seems like it's going to be very quick. That's a pretty good turning circle. You can see there's a lot of body roll. I think the gearing on this is also pretty dang good. It actually feels like a censored motor. So we got a clear road finally, so we're going to run up and down the road real quick and see how fast it is. left a little bit. Let's get a full speed run going on here. It's hard to tell until you see a GPS, but that's probably 30, 35 miles an hour. Should be good enough for a small track. Now I've owned very expensive cars and now I've owned very cheap cars. My opinion, for someone who's just starting out, this car is actually pretty good as it is coming out of the box. Obviously, for our purposes, it's not the same as it was out of the box. Um, so, it's actually a very nice car. 
The Phillips screws I know are not really liked in the hobby, but as far as someone starting out, it's very familiar and they already should have tools for it. It makes it very easy to work on. Um, you know, the Big Squid RC is a big RC website. They did a shootout and this car, spoiler alert, won um, the best cheap short course truck category. So I advise you to check it out. I'll post the link to the description below. Uh, I'll have more video with Chelsea at the track and we'll see how well this goes. Thank you guys. Have a good day.